The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're producing a saucy trappy using Logic Pro X. And I like to jump right into my software instruments, so I have Omnisphere loaded up. And we're going to hit create. I'm going to jump to the Keyscape Creative Library. I really love these sounds. I actually just got this and have been exploring these. I love hitting this little shuffle knob. It just randomizes all the presets. That way, every time you use it, you hear something that you've pretty much never heard before. Let's do that. One, two. That's a nice little bounce to it. I don't like quantizing things 100% if I don't have to. Because in trap beats, you usually just have one sound and some drums, and you gotta make everything as unique as possible. So MIDI placement being unique is pretty crucial. So oftentimes with trap beats, I don't quantize like hand played performances like this if I don't have to. Man, I hate how it does this. Let me switch to full screen mode and drag this up a little bit. That's a little better. Oh, here it is. That's the culprit. It's kind of like a triplet on the way out. So maybe we'll grab these two and quantize these to an actual triplet just to make sure that we get the timing right. Strength. Hey, so this is our starting loop. So actually let's bring all these a little bit earlier because they're all the same amount late. We'll zoom in just a little bit more over here. Slide all these bad boys over. Hey, hey. Now to make this one part sound like two parts, I'm just gonna go in and load up Halftime by Cable Guys. It's one of the most amazing plugins ever. And it's really cheap. And to bring some of that old sound back in, but just filtered. Hey, hey. And we're gonna leave that just like that for now. We can call this Bell. I'm also gonna give this a little recolor. This sound <clears throat> sounds more like this color to me. Let's move along to some drums. I'm gonna go to track. New tracks, five instances of Alchemy. Still not a huge fan of Alchemy, but since we're here, figured why not. Let me jump to my whole loops collection. I think I want a disrespectful 808. So I'm gonna go to Urban Beats, disrespectful 808s, and let's we can drop this over here. That way it replaces that first one. And then we just gotta drag tune all the way down. So middle C. Red means it's hot, and let's see if we can play an 808 pattern along with our. Uh... We can just call this 808, and we're going to leave it here. Let's go fill in the rest of our drum kit. I'm going to go find a kick. I like that kick. Let's go to drum shots, percussions, some of these. Quick little loop like that. For these drums, I think I am actually gonna quant. Oh, 
There we go. It. I almost had. There we go. Man, I find it almost impossible to use the grid in in Logic, and I use most DAWs, and most of them are usable. But I just find Logics to be next to impossible. That being said, we're gonna go in and try and snap this MIDI to the grid. Oh, we have to zoom out. Why is it so zoomed in? Here we go. So I'm gonna highlight all these and let's do eighth notes to at 100%. Maybe instead of that, we'll do a faster pattern like this. Hey, and this will be our little rim. And then let's go find a closed hat. Perfect. We're going to highlight all these. 100% on the eighth note swing. Let's put in a clap. Do the same quantizing on here. And on this velocity, maybe just turn these offbeat ones down a little bit. Let's record in a kick drum pattern. Hey. Turn the volume up on that a little bit. Now that we've got our basic pattern laid out, I like to spread out a little bit more of an arrangement and then lay in the 808. So let's make 32 bars. This will give us time to kind of jam out and figure out what pattern we want. like those last two measures. The way the 808 and kick bounced off of one of e one another is perfect. Whoops. So I just command click and hit delete to split these clips up. And let's do quantize 100%. Boom. Let's take a listen to this beat. If we start our drums right here and let's turn our click off. Letter K. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now little sauce tricks that I like to do are slide my hi-hats late a little bit. So to do that, we're just gonna zoom in and highlight everything and just the tiniest little slip over we can. Let's see how that sounds. Let's also move our loop region over to here. Be too much. Let's try and split the difference. There we go. I'm even gonna do the same thing with my rims. Just a little slide over. That way, all these overlapping hits aren't actually like overlapping with the transients. They're just on the same beat. Just by taking the rim and hat out of the center, 
made a whole lot more space for the vocal, make the lyrics a lot easier to understand when there's a rap vocal over this beat. Are your vocals sounding a little weak sauce? Does your plug-in chain lack organic spice and quality? Introducing Waves Vocal Sauce, the ultimate preset for Waves plugins that'll get your vocals so saucy you may never use another plug-in chain again. Waves Vocal Sauce is available now only at Holoops.com. Now let's just finish it off with a little open hi-hat. That's a nice soft one. I kind of like picking whatever pitch sounds nice to me. I really don't care what the original pitch of the sample was. Let's record in some open hats. feels like a hook element to me. So I'm not going to have this be the first thing you hear. Here to here and this our hook. And now that we've got some more elements in our beat, let's go back to our original sound and see what we can automate to make it a little bit more interesting. One of my favorite things to automate is the mix knob inside a halftime. Boom. So we're going to start with it. Actually, you know what, instead of automating the mix knob first, let's automate the uh, split low. Yeah. So this is just the, this is almost like, instead of doing a wet dry, doing a filter. So like, just the, uh, just the lows of the original sampler sneaking in. So, but we're going to start it out like this. So let's have the intro have both in there. And then right here, let's just to do like a little surprise switch up. Let's just have it go down like that. Hey. Yeah, yeah. way when this part comes in the 808 mutes. And also, since we're doing kind of a separate verse and hook, let's also have the kick not be in this first spot. So let's actually introduce the kick later in the beat. It's a nice little trick I do to help things uh, pick up. on the beat right here. Just command click and delete. Actually, let's not do it there. Let's do it. Let's do it just to here. Boom. Second half of that. And then back into it. And we've got another duplicate of our arrangement. Let's now create another software instrument. And I'm going to find another counter melody. Instead of Alchemy, we're going to go back to Keyscape Creative inside of Omnisphere. And let's just hit the old shuffle button again. Cool. That's a nice little thing. I might just hold that chord down. Let's 
try recording this in and run it through halftime and see what we get. Let's give this a listen. Let's also load up halftime on this just to send it to the background a little bit. Let's actually edit the MIDI a little bit. I think I want to hear a different note. actually create a little break here in the middle before it comes back with the beat and let's just do a short one like this and we'll drag these guys out let's take these all make these kind of special by putting it down an octave I might actually just leave that kind of lower tone vibe so that when it comes back with the hook, it feels like it goes up an octave. And then this is the beginning of do do Let's actually just bring the clap and the hat out. And why not just do this too? I want to add to sauce these up a little bit is maybe a little reverse uh, symbol action. Go here to symbols. This one's already backwards. Perfect. So I'm just going to drop this in there and turn this way down. And I kind of want to EQ this a little differently. Let's low cut this. Grab four bars, Command C, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, Command V. Let's drop this in our sampler. Let's give our beat a play and see if we can record in some rim shots. So quantize these a hundred percent. Just paste that right over there. these hi-hats a little bit saucier I'm gonna add a delay to them I'll use the uh, let's use the delay designer quarter alternating pan Two 
to uh, take this little high pitch piano thing out of the center, I'm going to grab the Sound Toys Pan Man. Let's start going into basic panning and let's pull under minor movement. Let's turn quarter note up to two bars. There you have it. That's my tutorial on creating a trap beat using Logic Pro X. I hope you found the tips, tricks, and shortcuts in this tutorial useful. And if you want to check out all the drum samples used in this beat, you can visit the Urban Beats 3 collection at wholeloops.com. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time with another video. Peace out.